Hi, it's Vicki, Condi Systems Technical Support, and I am in Corel Draw X4 today and here to show you about using templates, or should I say more specifically, the power clip feature in Corel Draw. Uh, there's a couple of settings in the power clip that will, um, based on if it's checked or not, uh, you may very well bring a template to the page and then have your image on the page space for instance like I have this square here pretending this is an image and this is your template and the image of course is bigger than the template I know that but when we power clip something into an area what happens is it um, it hides everything but that shape of the template so anything that is excess beyond that area here will be hidden behind the template. So um, I've had some calls where people will ask where is my image? I power clip it in and I can't find my image. It disappears. Well there's a setting in CorelDRAW and I want to show you where that's at. The purpose of this video is to show you if this should happen how to make sure your power clip is set up correctly or in my idea of correctly is meaning that it's centered when we place our power clip something into a template uh, and um, that feature is located under your tools and I'm um, going to show you what happens when it's not checked so very quickly I'm going to show you how to power clip something and say for instance the feature is not selected where it centers in the template so I click on the effects I come down power clip and then I click on place in container so with my image selected I'm going to place it in container and I'm going to choose the container I want to place it in because that's what that arrow is wanting me to do and so as you can see the square is gone it placed it in the container but it didn't center it so when I right click and I edit it basically I can move this image wherever I want it and then the box shows up in blue on the top it's letting you basically place the image where you want so you can edit it that way and place the image in the center if you want to and finish editing it but just to let you know that it's there I'm just going to halfway place it in the box right click and left click on finish editing so as you can tell the template was way over here and you couldn't tell it was in the box so the template basically places I'm sorry the image was way to the left and, and when we placed it in the box it only placed it behind it it didn't center it and we couldn't see the image because of where we had it on our document but when we edit it and slide it over we can tell that it's only staying in the place that it is when you finish um, using your power clip. So having said that we're going to take this and uh, we're going to extract the contents and we're going to take it out of the box. We're going to leave it selected for now that's fine. We're going to go to place uh, image in the center and I'm going to show you where that's at. I'm going to go to tools, left click on customization and here I'm going to go and left click on edit. Now this checkbox right here auto center new power clip contents that right there will place the image in the center of the box when it's checked so we want to make sure it's checked. Click OK now when I go and place my image using the power clip sorry here we go power clip place inside container and I click on the container in which I want to place it in it centers the image for me so I'm going to edit contents and show you that it centered it so if that is not selected under your tools edit then it's likely that's why you're not seeing your image so that's a little um, resolve for those folks who can't seem to get their image to be centered in the template so if you're having that problem make sure you go and check that box I'm sure it will resolve it now I'm working in Corel X4 but this 
feature will also be in X5 and most all of your Corel Draw settings, um, I'm sorry, Corel Draw versions, you'll find that that feature is there under the tools and um, customization and then edit. So if you have any questions you want to ask or you need help, call us here at Condi. We'll be happy to walk you through it. My name is Vicki, and as always, I thank you for watching. Have a great day.